Hello everyone. My name is Vishal Singh and I will be teaching you chess today. So in the previous class we had completed, uh, no, we were still going on with checkmate using the rook and we'll be completing that today within the first two or three minutes of the class. And we'll be starting with checkmate in using the minor pieces that is the bishop and the knight. Okay, so let's begin with the class. I'll be sharing my screen now. Okay, so I am quite sure we had completed this and the answer to this was you are playing as black and you had to checkmate the enemy king, the white king using your rook. So the answer to this was quite simple. It was rook to h4. The king has no place to go. And it can not even kill our rook because our rook is protected by the queen. Okay, so let's move ahead. All right, so you are playing as black, uh, as white in this one, and you have to checkmate the black king. Uh, go ahead, pause the video, see what can be done, and come back. Okay, so the, let's see. This uh, h8 is safe place for our for the black king to move. So you, it cannot jump on its own piece, so f8 is out of the option. You cannot go to f7 because of the knight. Remember the knight moves in L pattern, so that is not an option. It cannot move. The king cannot move to G7 either because of the bishop, and defi definitely not H7 again because of the knight. So the only place it can move to is H8 and the place where it is currently. So that is safe place for the king as well. We have to make sure these two blocks are under our control in order to make this a checkmate. How can we do that? Simply play rook to f8 capture the enemy knight and the rook is protected by the bishop it cannot move here at h7 because of the knight neither yep it cannot move down at h7 because of the knight and cannot move down at f7 because of the knight and the rook so this is a complete checkmate again. okay so you are playing as white in this one again so Go ahead, you have all or you have all the pieces on the screen, see what you can do and then come back. Let's see if our answers do match. Okay, so the answer is quite simple. Let's see. So the black king cannot come anywhere near our king, so g3 is out of the option. It cannot capture our pawn, so g4 is out of the option. It cannot uh, move anywhere on the fifth rank due because of our rook because our rook is present on the fifth rank so g5 and h5 are out of the option it can only either stay at h4 or move to h3 we have to again make sure these two blocks are under our control how do we do that simply play rook to h5 now remember the king cannot escape on the fifth rank just because the rook moved because the rook is still on the fifth rank doesn't matter if it has moved towards the right or the left, it is still on the fifth rank and no other piece is blocking its way. So that is why uh, the fifth rank, the most of fifth rank is still under our rook's control. Okay. So with this, we're actually finally done with checkmating using the rook, and we'll be starting with uh, we'll be starting with checkmating using the minor pieces. Okay. All right. So let's begin. Okay. So you are playing. I'll explain what how, what and what you have to do and how you can do it. So you are playing as white in this one and you have to check the enemy again using either your bishop or your knight. Those are the minor pieces, okay? So the answer to this one is again quite simple. This is a simple one, I'll be showing you this. So it is knight to f7. The king cannot come down at h7 because its own pieces are blocking its path. It cannot even move to the left or down. All right, so this, this was a very easy check -out. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, see. These are the only three options the, the king has and the place where it is currently itself. So, it cannot move to g8 because of our bishop. Just a second. Yeah. It cannot move to h7 and g7 because our k, it can, because it cannot come anywhere near our king. So, the reason this is not a checkmate is because it is safe where it is at the moment. It is safe at h8. We have to make sure this block h8 falls under our our, uh, our attack range. So oh, the answer is quite simply play bishop to c3, the black bishop. 
So this makes it a complete checkmate. It has nowhere near as to go. Okay. All right. So you are playing as black and this one you have to eliminate, you have to checkmate the white king. How will you do that? You have all the pieces on the screen you can see and go ahead, pause the video, see what, what you can do and then come back. So at the moment, let's see what are the options for the white king. Okay, it cannot jump on its own pieces. So let's get rid of uh, d5 and b3. Can it move to b5? Yes, it can move. So let's eliminate b4 and c3 because black bishop it's uh, is covering those blocks under its attack range. So the king cannot move there. even yeah so the rest of the places no so d4 and c5 are out of the option is it because of the pawns so these are the only safe places for the okay, for the white king to move and to stay at meaning if you notice these three blocks are all white and they're diagonal which piece moves like that obviously the bishop right so we have a white bishop over here. How can we utilize that? Simply play bishop to a6. And we have covered all the blocks. Also, our, it cannot even move to left anyway, even if the bishop was not present because of the rook over here. Let's move ahead. Okay, again, this is very simple. You're playing as white in this one. You have to checkmate the black king. Uh, how will you do that? Look at look at the screen, see what pieces you have, pause the video, think about it, and then come back. Okay. So uh the king cannot king our the king cannot kill our bishop, right? Because it is protected by the rook. It cannot move to g8 and e8 because of our bishop again. It cannot come down here at g7 because of our rook. So meaning it cannot move anywhere, but it is safe where it is. We just have to make sure this place f8 falls under our attack range and it will be a complete checkmate. How do we do that? Simply, we have a bishop over here, uh, a knight over here. So all we have to do is play knight to e6 and then this makes it a complete checkmate. Got it? Okay. So you just a second. Okay, so you are playing as white in this one again. And you have to checkmate the black king. See what piece all what all the pieces you have. Pause the video, think about it, and then come back. Okay. Okay, so the answer to this is again quite simple. You just play simply bishop to e5. Now these are the attack spots. So the knight is covering e6 and f7 under its attack range. And the bishop is covering f6 and g7. The white bishop is covering f5 and g6. So it has no other place to move. And the knight is again protected by our pawn. So again, the king cannot capture that as well. Okay. <laughs> this one again, this was a little complicated, but uh, I'm sure you guys might have gotten it. Okay, so you are again playing as uh, white in this one. You're playing as white again in this one and you have to checkmate the black king. See what can be done. You have all the pieces in front of your eyes, how you can utilize them, the bishop, the knight and everything. Pause the video, come up with a possible solution and come back. Let's see if our solutions do match. Okay. Okay, so let's... Let's get rid of d7 and f7. Why? Because our knight is covering those blocks under our attack range. Not an option. Let's get rid of uh, e7 and d7 because of our vision. So it got move on uh, f8 anyway. It's, uh, its own piece is blocking the way. So the thing is, it is just safe where it is. We have to make sure this block falls under our attack range. How do we do that? 
simply play bishop to f7. The bishop, the king cannot capture our bishop. Why? Because it is protected by our knight. And this makes it a complete checkmate. Okay. So that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys had fun and you guys learned something. So I'll see you guys in the next class. Bye-bye.